I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not one to project too much confidence. Um, I, I'm just trying to beat Andy. Let's just face it. Hi, I'd love to put in an order for delivery, please. On a second, One order of pad thai with shrimp, please. The delivery should be around 30, 35 minutes. Great, thank you very much. That was just so intense. Okay. Were you keeping track of the clicks? I bet you weren't. How many do you think I have now? 17. That was 30. What an honest guy, right? First up is I wanna prep my noodles. So this is 16 ounces of noodles. I'm gonna do half just cause it wouldn't suck to have a little extra just in case, right? Always leave away. Wow, great. That's a great, great start. This is what was so fascinating about talking to Shane. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, of course, happy to chat with you. What should I be trying to achieve? So right off the bat, a few things to keep in mind. With the way that pad thai has been designed, you want your finished product to have sort of like a sweet, a salty, and a sour component. Your sauce should be a tight glaze rather than sauce that kind of clings the noodles. And with the noodles, you know, you want noodles that are soft, but still are chewy and still have a bite to it. Speaking of the noodles, my temptation is always to want them boil them. I mean, I'm, I'm like an Italian, you know, we like, we boil things. <laughs> Soak in your noodles in some water, room temperature water for about 20 to 30 minutes until they get softer. I tend to use hotter water than most package directions would indicate. You know, time is a little bit of the essence here. So as long as I achieve the right texture, I mean, I think it's okay, right? Yeah. And I'm gonna cool these right down. And it still has like quite a bit of chew to it. All right, now we need to make some simple syrup from palm sugar. We're calling this two ounces. Things you should not use your knife for, cutting palm sugar. Now I'm gonna do two ounces of hot water. I wanna prep some of my mix-in ingredients. Your finished product would have like a sweet, a salty, and a sour components. Thai restaurants in the United States will kind of have their own take on it. Some people will do oyster sauce or dark sweet soy. And I think that your best bet here will be to use some of the palm sugar fish sauce and tamarind respectively. Tamarind's gonna add lots of sour. Fruity, very sour, good bit salty. All right, so chopping some peanut. I feel like you don't want whole peanuts in Pad Thai. Scallion's gonna add that sort of like that oniony element. Just slicing these kind of in half just so that they cook a little bit more quickly, but leading the tail on. Time check is 19 minutes remaining. Questioning my decision not to have another coffee before this, but I'm living with the choices that I've made. So almost all this palm sugar has been dissolved. If I had a little more time, I would throw it on the heat, but I, I think it's okay. I'm gonna do one and a half. So this is kind of like my flavor base, you know, my sauce. And the sauce looks kind of loose. Well, I think you're the only person who thinks that, Corey, because I think we're gonna be just fine. Just need like a touch more sweet in there. It's gonna cook out, and I think we're gonna get that clingy, kind of glazy situation we want. So I've got that, throw our shrimp right on there. Oh, we need chilies. Preserved radish. I have it pre-cut here. It's salty. It's Fun. It's very textural. I love how she described it as like radish jerky. It's so accurate. If you can't find preserved radish, I'd probably just skip it. I don't think anything really hinges on it, you know? Is there anything that's like brand new to you? That better not be our guy. No. Well, I mean, I, I definitely did not see this coming. like, well, we must have gotten somebody's like hoagie or something, but no, it's the fucking shrimp pad thai. This is great. That's cheating. Were they cooking during your call? What's happening? Hey, 
Hey, still there? We've been on the phone for four minutes and 45 seconds. I have no idea what happened. I mean, this comes together super quickly. The shrimp should, you know, cook through in just a couple minutes. You know, once you have everything lined up and ready to go, it's pretty simple and it comes together very quickly. I made a little bit extra noodle. Seriously, do they like literally have like a cannon that they just like shoot the friggin' pad thai out of at that place? I, I just feel like I was set up. All right, so sauce is going in. Tamarind, simple syrup made from palm sugar and fish sauce. How are they interacting to create the kind of like the glazy effect that you're talking about, but without creating soup. So to get that tight glaze, you're going to need some high heat and some good timing. So your sauce is there for seasoning, it's there for most of the noodles, and finishing off that cooking process. And then here's the key, the sauce is going to take care of the cooking process for you. So I'm just going to crush up some of this chili, chopped preserved radish, mung bean sprouts. The, the texture of the noodle should be changing right now and getting a good bit softer. Oh man falling apart here. Now you just have to use your hands, you know. Mm. Ooh, I'm gonna throw in some scallion just to kind of brighten it up a little bit and then use the rest to finish it. We're good. Oh, I have seven minutes left. So I've, I've, I've finished at 23 and I had to take a break to go get the water. So just saying. Great. So done, plated, everything's done, finished. Five minutes to spare. I mean, they got this thing here so fast. That better not be our guy. It's just mind bending. So anyway, even though I was under time, you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes that's just how it breaks. So they've got cilantro in there. Their peanut looks like amazingly fine. That's pretty fun. So they seem to have certainly gotten, you know, the kind of like the clingy kind of vibe to the noodles. They are kind of breaking apart a little bit. I think, you know, obviously steaming out in here is, is not helping anything. Uh, did you bring your own chopsticks? I did. I brought my own purple titanium chopsticks. Snow Peak makes them. They're really fun. The main thing that I'm noticing between these two the delivery noodles definitely broke apart quite easily. I think, you know, just kind of steaming out in the container, a little bit darker than mine, but otherwise, I mean, it achieves, you know, having kind of a clingy sauce on the noodles, but without any kind of pooling, you know, kind of, um, uh, what am I, what word am I looking for? There's not like really any excess sauce here. I think you could say that. Really curious to see the, the flavors side by side. I don't I'm gonna taste first before doing any lime. It's a little um, sweet. It's not super sour. I get a little bit of tamarind, but I get like quite a bit more sweetness from this. The texture of the noodles is bouncier than you'd think considering they kind of broke apart. Yeah, overall flavors are, they're there. They're just a little bit more muted, you know? This is a pad thai. I certainly would love to have a little sidecar of chili flakes, a little extra fish sauce would be great, and certainly some lime. Already the lime just wakes the whole thing up. So here's mine. We have like a good kind of level of cling with the sauce. That one chili added a lot of heat. It's funny, it tasted really sour to me when it had just, um, you know, finished cooking on the stove. But now I'm craving a little more sour. Added some lime there. A lot more tamarind flavor here. Definitely a lot more fish sauce. It's just, it's different. This is a dish that I think, it's like the clock is literally ticking. The second it comes out of the pan or out of the wok, you wanna eat it as soon as possible. I mean, look, we've all eaten pad thai that's like been in the, the takeout container a little bit too long, you know? And yet like, I think a great pad thai made and eaten right away, I think just offers so much more. I'd say, if anything, I think the fish sauce is a little strong here. And 
and or pull, bump up the sweetness a little bit more. I think they're both really good. I, I do like the texture of my noodles. They're certainly holding together. They still have some, some bite to them. On a scale of one to 10, I'd say my dish is maybe an eight for me. I think the flavor balance could be just a little bit tweaked there. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with, with how it came out. In terms of what I did with my dish, I think I hit on you know all the things that you know Shane and I discussed. I think the noodle prep is super key, um, so that they're pretty springy and hold together. The sauce, the the level of cling. You know, if you were to take all the noodles off the plate, there's no excess sauce here. I think that's one of the real revelations with this dish. It's that you know the ingredients are so flavorful. Like you know, less can be more. Truly. You know, I would I would certainly use slightly different quantities if I did this again, but um, but I think that balancing of sour, sweet, um, and uh, salty is is definitely represented here. Like I just want the flavors a little louder here, but maybe just like a touch quieter here. I think this was certainly a success from the standpoint of like I had five minutes to spare. There is no doubt you do not need more than 30 minutes to make a great pad thai. In fact, you might need, you can make it and deliver it in 15 minutes. <laughs> I feel like you beat Andy. <laughs> Only because you brought it up, I certainly beat Andy's time. And I think we all know that that was the true objective today. About beating Andy? <laughs> Well, it, when I clearly didn't beat delivery, it certainly became about beating Andy. So <laughs> by, by that measure, that was, definitely, uh, that was definitely a 